So if you now look at a bipolar disorder population, and then you say, okay, how many of these people have ADHD? Uh, this was the step bipolar program, a thousand consecutive adults with bipolar disorder, and they looked at lifetime comorbidity ADHD at about 10%. <clears throat> this broke up though, it was higher in males at about 15% and females at about 6%. The onset of bipolar disorder, if you have ADHD, occurs about four to five years before somebody who doesn't have ADHD. So if you just run a mood disorders clinic, this is what you would see in your population. About 10% would have a history of major depression, about 22%, one out of four, one out of five would have chronic dysthymia, and about one out of five would have bipolar disorder. I just want to focus on chronic dysthymia disorder. Is this, is this a mood disorder? Or are they chronically dysthymic because their ADHD is untreated and they're um, perpetually impaired from day to day to day to day? So it's hard to distinguish this. And I'll tell you the research in the past had not considered ADHD in research protocols. So we've got 30 years of mood disorder research. And in the protocols, there was never a rule out for ADHD because nobody thought ADHD in adults was a significant prevalence rate. So when you think about refractory depression, people will walk through the pharmacologic algorithm for refractory depression. And the question you want to ask is, did you do an assessment for ADHD in this adult before we start calling it refractory depression? And I'm going to come back to that, that concept in a, little mo in a little while. So this is looking at a large meta-analysis of 71 studies globally, 18 countries. They saw one out of 13 had bipolar disorder, and in the sample in the United, um, in the bipolar, I'm sorry, so ADHD sample was one out of 13 for bipolar, and for bipolar sample, it was one out of six that had ADHD. And this is not too dissimilar from the National Comorbidity Replication Survey at about 21%. So the criticism is always about ADHD as a U.S. phenomenon. It doesn't exist in the rest of the world. This is like uh, Rip Van Winkle woke up 20 years later and hadn't read the, the explosion of international research. This is absolutely not true. ADHD exists in, in first world countries and in third world countries. The issue about bipolar one versus bipolar two. This is 19 studies looking at this. These are large studies. 15 studies with estimates on ADHD and bipolar 2. And the conclusion here was that the comorbidity of ADHD did not differ in patients whether they had bipolar 1 or bipolar 2. I think that's important to know.